and 11 runs ahead. Good shot. Well, that'll uh, help Graham Thorpe, no doubt. That's a very confident start from Thorpe. I was impressed with the way he played in the one day. Alan Border is the bowler and Graham Thorpe is taking strike. Just a little push by Graham Thorpe for three. is fast. There's seven runs to Graham Thorpe since lunch. Well, there's a little bit of an element of luck about this. I don't think he made the plate quite so fine. He's trying to hit it off the back foot fairly square. It went behind. There's a chase for him that'll just loosen up a hamstring or two. short one it goes for four that's his third four you see probably uh, just needs a little bit of work on the short pitch deliveries he got out to one from Merv Hughes in the first innings but he has shown a keenness to play the pull shot was similar to the delivery that got him first innings except uh, that one was more directly at the Adam's apple that was about 10 degrees off oh watch it watch it watch it look at that ball Wow, did the ball hit the stumps? Did the ball rest against the stumps? William Thorpe's in some discomfort there, and that's why he totally forgot the ball for that brief moment. Uh, just watch the ball, that's the thing. We were all concentrating on... Wow. And the ball, it rolls against the stumps. Right, this is the one. It rolls back towards the stumps. Oh. There, and that's gone behind square at the finish. There's 50. Fine effort. First test match, first 50. More than that, he's... Uh, helping to change the course of the match. That's a good stroke. What, 44 since T. A run a minute virtually.
longer Thorpe has been in, the more assured he has looked. So close, either the bat edge or the corner of off stump, perhaps even both. And that's the extra bounce again there, and uh, we've just seen that occasionally in, later in the game. Shane Warne getting the ball to bounce more now. Oh, that asked for it. <laughs> Graham Thorpe's sixth boundary. When you look at these young men there, and you look at their faces, you can see the concentration out there. They're Pretty determined. Not too much laughing and joking. Serious business is test cricket. He latches onto those so quickly. There's control in that because it was played down, it went square. Yes, I think that was short. It wasn't a bouncer banged in bounce, it was just short and uh, you could tell by the way they played it wasn't a bouncer, just pulled away to square leg. Magical figure of 300 on now for England. That's the figure they were looking for at the start of the day. Well, steered away. It's the 50 partnership. And that's tremendous for these two young men going to this match together. 50 partnership. Julian is the bowler. At least two there, and it may even run down to the boundary there. That's the far side of the ground. Very ordinary, not the shot, the shot was terrific, but uh, very ordinary bowling. Yeah. Well, he's got it, with a bounce. The fielder came in, thought for a moment he might be able to catch it, changed his mind and the bounce took Graham Thorpe to a century in his debut test. Joins a very select band of cricketers to do that. And it's a good innings. Nice to see for a young player who did so well in those one days. Nice to see him play in those and do well and then come here and play such a good knock. This is a shot. With the hook. Got slightly high, went reasonably up and slated to come in trying to make the catch. Stopped when he couldn't, but the bounce then did him. A bit short there, it doesn't really matter. I'm saying just whips that away without any trouble at all. The one thing the Lakesman has got to do is to bowl a very full length into that rough. Not a bit short. 347 ahead now, England. Perhaps 360 might be going through Graham Gooch's mind. hundred up for England. That is a terrific performance. When you think that yesterday morning we were talking about how long Caddick might stay with Gooch or if Gooch lost his wicket, how that might be the turning point of the game. And here we are 24 hours later thinking in terms of uh, a declaration Good shot, put that very fine. And there's no doubt about it, Sainz played the spinners very well in this match. Had to come in at awkward times, both times, and his technique's been very, very good against the spinners. Got the square drive. 
he seems to favour square of the wicket when driving. Players are looking. And finally that's it. That is the declaration. So England declare at 4.22 for six, which gives them a lead of 370, Australia a target of 371 in what we reckon will be a minimum of around 77 or perhaps 78 overs. Graham Thorpe's morning, 100 on debut, there it is, 114, over